so good morning we today we are going to start the first topic of medical genetics which is common characteristic of hereditary pathology as we go in a few questions such as what the we study in human genetics what is the medical genetic use for what are the main regulation for medical genetics so as we go in human genetics is the study of principle regulatory regulating the hereditary and changeability of organism to all levels of its orientation so it means that we study about the changes on the genetic factors which can really evolve to their variation in the structural or formational development of the child or any kind of organism so what medical genetics study is used for the treatment pathology uh, and prophylaxis of the hereditary patterns so we take out the hereditary signs which are transferred from the each generation and we try to diagnose them on a species and come up with the treatment and prophylaxis for the given criteria so clinical genetics what is it the clinical genetics is part of medical genetics which is used to achieve the correct diagnosis prophylaxis and treatment of a hereditary disease which can determine the prognosis of the offspring what are the classes of human genetic diseases well it's divided on the basis of the of a uh, pattern of inheritance so it's divided as single genetic architecture and complex genetic architecture whereas in single genetic architecture the trait is similar throughout the family and its pattern is recognizable and is passed down as one per family it follows the mendelian diseases and we have a causative gene for the simple genetic architecture whereas in complex no clear pattern of inheritance can be seen so it's unlikely to be found and diagnosed trially in the in comparison to the simple genetic architecture we are also unable to pinpoint the positive region because there are many the multiple can multifactorial that the genes many genes can be involved and then environmental factors can also be seen it doesn't even follow the mendelian diseases and we are classifying of the genetic disorders so genetic disorders are mainly classified in multifactorial single gene abbreviation chromosomal disorder mitochondrial disorders and somatic mutations on the right side you can see an image it shows the multifactorial disease which can lead or which can be led by the genetic and environmental factor to the human diseases on the right we have environmental factor on the left we have genetic factors as you can see in environmental factor we have diseases such as scurvy tuberculosis peptic ulcer diabetes and so on there are on the life side we can see a hemophilia phenyl ketonuria galactosemia muscular dystrophy and so on what is the genetic disorder so it's an abnormality caused because of the gene or the chromosome having too many variations and we have it is caused it can be seen because of the error in meiosis which can lead to monosome or trisome so during meiosis the chromosome are splitting and 
one of n is divided and a single strand one single strand chromosome so what happened is a single strand chromosome leads to the development of the new one which relates to monosome whereas in trisomy the couple or the entire complex is attached to a single one uh, chromosome leading to the formation of trisomy it can also be a uh, hereditary disease following the inheritance period which can be seen throughout the family pedigree ah indication of genetic anomaly well there are many indication but primarily we can see mental retardation we can see spontaneous abortion such as miscarriages in the family pedigree or you can see on the right side the family pedigree where it's indicating the orange one being the carrier and the person with the disease where the pink one is shown the children which having most chance of being aborted or having some symptoms or carrier so as you can see the person with the orange are one who are leading to the development of the children with mostly the carrier phase cytogenic uh, categories of the genetic disorders so we have different categories such as chromosomal disorders single gene multifactorial and somatic diseases such as we have discussed but a little bit about the chromosomal diseases these are that which are caused by the numerical or the structural abnormality of the chromosome it can be because of the increase in the number of chromosomes uh, or leading to development of the various symptoms or the structural abnormality because of the inversion deletion duplication we have examples such as down syndrome turner syndrome we have single gene disorders those that are caused by the defect of an individual gene only single gene is related here which can lead to the development of the defect such as thalassemia hemophilia we have multifactorial disorders as we have before these are related to the genetic factor as well as the environmental factor working together to cause the problems such as diabetes mellitus hypertension cancers are also part so we have to know that the hereditary diseases are caused by the dominant genes now only one gene that is needed to a person for having diseases a person with a dominant heritage usually has the least affected parents and why is that because for having a dominant gene you have to have 50% chances from both of your parents to be a the carrier so in most of the cases both the parents are the carriers and not the degree holder parents have to have 50% chance for passing this type of disease of course as you know that both the parents are carrier so they have 50% chance of passing it down we have autosomal disorder dominant dominant variation and recessive variation we have sex linked disorders dominant and recessive variations here you can see the examples of autosomal dominant diseases such as marfan syndrome the renin polycystic audit we have one wille von diseases we have tubular sclerosis we have nonan syndrome and so on as an autosomal dominant diseases <clears throat> we have autosomal recessive one two these are the examples such as albinism sickle cell anemia beta thalassemia cystic fibrosis and so on 
Of course. <clears throat> of course. The changes in the sex chromosome number can also be lead to the abbreviation and disorientation. It can be because of too many or too few X or Y chromosomes on the strands. We have diseases such as hemophilia, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, color blindness, and rickets. As few of the examples of these diseases. We have to know a little bit about the cytogenetic methods. It is the study of chromosome and related disease caused by the abnormalities of chromosomal number and or the structure. So chromosome number can be increased, a structure can be changed, which are basically the reason for the development of any disorder and cytogenetic methods help us to pinpoint the disease region for which the disease is caused. It involves the study of the chromosomal number and structure to analyze any kind of underlying factors relating to the disease or disorientation. So what do we take the samples for studying the chromosomal pattern? So we have to make sure that the cells have gone through the meos the mitosis mitosis cycle. Uh, for it to be visible under the light microscope to understand the problem in the chromosome. We usually take samples such as amniotic fluid, peripheral blood, and bone marrow for the study, wherein that amniotic fluid is the most used in, in vitro. We have banding, the Q banding, V banding, R and C banding for normal understanding. These are the normal dyes, like Unitin, Gimsa, and for R and C, the, there are different techniques which can be used. Like we have the normal structure during the circle. So we have chromosomal arms, mostly repetitive. It is rich DNA. And in Q banding, under UV light, direct chlorophenogams, patterns, and each pair uh, chromosomes can be seen. Whereas in G banding, you have some chromosomes are mostly repetitive, AT rich DNA. It's the same pattern as the Q banding. But the pattern expects a single additional band near centromere of chromosome 1 and 16. Whereas in R banding, we have chromosomal R, mostly of GCH DNA. Reverse banding pattern of that observed is Q or G banding. And in C banding, the centromere region of each chromosome and distinct portion of Y chromosomes are highly repeated, mostly AT rich DNA. Largest bands usually are on chromosome 1, 9, 16, and Y, whereas in chromosome number 7, 10, 15 have medium band sizes. Size of C band are highly variable. For person to person, that's why the C banding is really not often used. We have variety and vari variation and variability on the length and the position of the chromosome. We have the examples such as Philadelphia, which is caused because of the translocation of the chromosome which comes under the criteria of the positional wise diseases. We have length wise structural diseases which are, can be caused because of the Down syndrome and this can be leaded by the chromosomal length wise P21, PSPK.
yes cytogenetic oh, sorry karyotype forms we have normal karyotype forms such as photosynthesis as well um these are the defects which can be seen we have 21 plus which is down syndrome we have 45 x so these are the defects which can be seen we have 46 xx ty 922 is the deviation of the cellular gene and so on. Thank you.